Hello everyone. Once again, this is Dare to Speak. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about another part of the whole um, the feminist agenda that I've, that I've been noticing. I've been uh, doing a little bit more research and um, someone uh, wrote a message um, in response to one of my videos that I did about the corruption of, fe of feminism how a lot there's a lot of radical feminists out there and stuff like that and he actually um, said something that about about I don't know I don't know if all of them are doing this I honestly don't know I don't know if most of them are doing this or uh, to the, for, for whatever psychotic reason but if it's true then it's, then it's very disturbing and it's very I think sinister in my opinion uh, I know I know that some feminists are probably either bisexual or maybe they're lesbians I don't know but I kept on hearing um, some uh, Accusations saying that a lot of these feminists that are very hardcore, I'm talking about very hardcore feminists, are actually either um, lesbians themselves or they're starting to favor lesbianism because they hate men so much. I mean, I, I mean, whatever the case is, I mean, I don't know if these people are either lying to me or whether they're I'm just being misinformed for whatever the reason but then I heard one particular story that or accusation or, or something like that saying that uh, this the, I'm seeing or, or, or people are actually noticing that a lot of feminism are, are, are trying to educate or program little kids boys and girls about homosexuality at a very young age saying that it's normal to do this there's nothing wrong with that and to do it says if, if you feel you like someone of the same sex it's okay and they're trying to even go as far as to educate them in, in different ways and uh, and to promote the idea of it but first of all they're too young to understand about homosexuality and you know for either men or women they shouldn't be educated that young and one from one source that I heard that they were actually purposely trying to program especially young boys and girls well both of them basically to um, see homosexuality as a normal thing to accept it in hopes that later on they'll get programmed into um, becoming homosexuals when they grow up because they think that the more men that become homosexuals because they have nothing against gay men because according to them gay men don't rape women gay men don't um, disrespect women you know in a very you know in any kind of like a you know, or cheat on women, or whatever the, that kind, that kind of thing. You know that, so they favor them in that sense, and they have this rage agenda against men being very spiteful and vindictive against them. They think that all men are like that, and they're, they're, they're so extreme. You know, all men they're all the same to me. So, so they, so they, they, they get so brainwashed by other, by other type of women. That um, sorry about that. To the point that they actually do very, very mean and spiteful things, and they get very vindictive. So you don't need a man to take care of you. You can do it yourself. And then later on, they get programmed into into thinking, just have a woman as a friend. And then, and then after so much conditioning for so many years, they'll start getting them involved in, in lesbian type of acts. They think that the world will be much better if 
if men were off, the ones that are not gay will be, you know, off the big face of the earth. That will be like uh, breeded out or something like that. And and uh, and I'm when, as I'm hearing all of this, I get very disturbed. I'm like, I don't know if this is actually true. I hope it's not true, but you know, I know there's a lot of crazy women out there that are that are feminists, and I mean crazy. What that keep them down, keep them down, kind of like you know, like like for example, for those of you who who have seen um. Married with children. Out, um, Marcy Darcy. How she actually started to like, for like for this women group, women's group and, and um, women's rights and stuff like that. And then she she was a feminist and all this kind of thing. And she here she is talking about being equal. They, they, they just want to be equal to men. They have the same equal rights. But then again, she wants she's um trying to be very vindictive. That's why she has that husband of hers, Jefferson, and she's trying to keep him on, on, on a leash. She's trying to program him, into, and she's trying to be the boss, and she is the boss, and, and if you've seen enough of the, of the episodes of the sitcom, because she wants to have dominance over male, only because in her life, when she was growing up, she got screwed over. She got screwed over by men because she wasn't very good looking. Her first husband left her. They, did, they, didn't, um, they, didn't, they didn't have a good enough relationship. And even though she's not a lesbian herself, um, in real life she is the woman who, um, uh, who, played, her, who played the character. But, um, but, she, but this is, since she likes men, and she's just as she's just as horny and just as uh, perverted as any typical sleazy sleazy guy. So she's a hypocrite in that sense, but she knows how to hide it. And I think a lot of these lesbians do have their own little skeletons in their closets, but they know how to hide it as well. And to go as far as to have this kind of sinister agenda, which I hope is not true. But if it is, it's, you know, it's scary, like I said before. To make sure that um, these, these young boys and girls are educated about homosexuality, so then later on, once they're already programmed and, and accepted, they'll be programmed as they get into their teenage years into accepting homosexuality, that it's okay if you feel that way. But then they're like trying to like, like uh, program you into becoming one. And there's a lot of subliminal messages all over. A lot, you see it in movies. You, you sometimes see it in certain sitcoms. And you, you see it in, I mean, it's, it's everywhere. And sometimes, you know, even, even in certain movies that are comedy, like, you know, like, you see people doing gay, gay stuff, gay acts, because it's funny, it is, it is funny. It's not, to, it's not to put down anybody or discriminate anybody. But then they'll get so used to it. And then, you know, I remember growing up, goofing around, like some guy pretending to be gay, and then they, they hug and they kiss. And then he says, man, get the get off me, man. And then, and then they start punching back. And later on, they start doing it back to each other, just goofing around. I mean, that, that's one thing, that's goofing around. But then that could be taken out of, out of uh, some people could actually, could, can be programmed, especially in this generation. People can be, young, young kids can be programmed into thinking that it's okay, and then they go down up getting confused, and that's one part of the feminist agenda. They're probably fem, uh, uh, favoring homosexuality and programming our, our kids in this generation to become one. If that's true, then there's no boundaries on what these women could actually do. I have nothing against feminism whatsoever. I, I'm not um, a woman hater or anything like that. I have nothing against that. I think it's a good idea, but there are, there are just so many radicals out there. A lot of man-hating, angry as fuck. A personal agenda 
type lesbian um, feminists out there. There's a lot of them. And I think it's pretty much getting out of control. And I don't know what else to say. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, questions or comments, you know what to do. I don't know if I left anything out. But again, to all of you, take care.